the biggest challenges we're seeing for our borrowers during forgiveness are borrowers who misunderstood the rules because they were changing rapidly at the time and made good faith errors <coughs> in calculating their loan amount. Um, borrowers were responsible for calculating their own loan amounts and determining their own eligibility. And so we are seeing businesses that are, you know, they've spent these funds on their business with the understanding that this would be a grant. Um, they made choices as to how they would keep employees staffed and paid um, based on the understanding that this was going to be a grant. Um, you know, some tell us they, they wouldn't have taken it if they'd known they had to pay it back because the last thing they need in an economic crisis is additional debt. So we really strongly feel that these smallest businesses, especially um, that are suffering from good faith errors, um, that they be allowed the forgiveness that was intended, that they relied on. Um, we also think for businesses in this size range, these micro businesses, loans up to about $25,000, by and large, um, especially for one person businesses, they would qualify for full forgiveness and having them go through the paperwork burden of applying through a separate application you know, for a business that small is a significant burden, and we think automatic forgiveness for those loans would be appropriate. We absolutely do not think that SBA should stop investigating fraud, and doing automatic forgiveness would not remove SBA's ability to investigate red flags and fraud and go after anyone who has lied about having a business or created false documents to try and bump up their loan amount. Those should be prosecuted. But giving automatic forgiveness and taking this extra burden off of the smallest businesses would not prevent SBA from investigating those cases. 